Acetic acid or ethanoic acid is sort of your go-to weak acid um, when you're talking about um, the, the what is a weak acid and the role of weak acids. And this is a great one to show students thinking about um, equilibrium in the sense of predicting, observing and explaining the changes. The apparatus set up as follows. We've got two separate beakers. Um, both containing an equilibrium mixture um, of acetic acid and RBC, um, its conjugate base, acetate, as well as um, hydronium ions or H plus ions, protons, whatever you want to call it. The, the colour change you're going to see here is due to the addition of the methyl red indicator, which will be sort of a, an orangey reddy sort of colour um, at a low pH of about 3 and at above pH 4, it'll be sort of a yellow colour. If you haven't already, I think it's good to maybe have the disassociation equation up on the board showing the acetate, acidic acid or ethanoic acid um, goes to the acetate iron plus H plus. And hopefully they have in their mind H plus relating that to pH. In the first case, we are adding um, an extra source or an external source of the acetate iron added as a solvent. So in this case, if you're looking at it from an equilibrium perspective, we're adding a product. In doing so, we then um, cause the equilibrium mixture to shift to the reactant side, and in doing so, it consumes the other product, which is H plus ions. And to do that, now you, you've still got an excess amount of acetate ions, but so Le Chatelier's principle is telling us that um, that's, you know, there's still an excess amount of sodium acetate, but you've used up H plus. You've consumed H plus to allow the reaction to shift to the left. And so the concentration of H plus has gone down, and so therefore the pH has gone up. In this scenario here, we are adding a strong base, sodium hydroxide. Now, adding a base to an acid reaction, we see that the pH increases, and we end up with a shift um, in colour to the yellow um, due to this increase in pH. So what's happened here, the addition of the base, um, so you've got hydroxide ions, so they have reacted with the H plus ions in solution. So that has reduced the concentration of H plus ions, hence the colour change. But which way is the equilibrium shifted? Well, it's actually shifted to the right. So initially we see a, a colour change to yellow just by adding the sodium hydroxide. Then by having the H plus, which is the product of the that equilibrium system consumed, we see a partial offset of this yellow change. It still stays yellow because the pH is still larger than it was at the start, but this is partially offset. So of course we've shifted to the right, but we've, um, we, Le Chatelier's principle tells us that it is a partial compensation of the loss of H plus ions. The, the H plus ions lost due to the, re the addition of the uh, sodium hydroxide is only partially compensated by shifting the reaction to the left. Overall, we've still got a reduction in H plus ions, hence the pH is higher. It's two observations clearly connected to one equation, showing the equation going, shifting in different directions, and yet still leading to the same pH change. So it gets students thinking about partial, uh, why Le Chatelier's principle is a partial change, um, how we lead to, uh, how we can compensate for those, those changes in equilibrium, um, and the, the presence of the H plus ions gives us something as an observation, we talk about a pH change.